Hello, it's Sina, Warthog Princess, and welcome. This video is going to be a quick comparison between the drawstring family tote and the lighten up large family tote. Very similar, but there are some key differences and one is much bigger than the other. So, this video was specially requested by Siobhan all the way from Ireland. So, hi Siobhan, thanks for your request and I hope this answers your questions. So first up we have the Disney and Friends Lighten Up or just Drawstring Family Tote. I don't think they even call it Lighten Up. Um, beautiful pattern. It's got literally Mickey and Friends. It's a gray base background and lots of fun characters and bright colors. So the one we're going to compare that to is the Lighten Up Large Family Tote and this one is in Tossed Posies. And it's a nice floral pattern, again, gray based background. So they actually match, I think, not perfectly, but there you go. So right off the bat, you can tell there are two different sizes. Let's look front to front. So the drawstring family tote is about four inches narrower in this direction, two inches shorter in this direction, and only just a quarter of an inch thicker. The only other difference in size actually is the strap drop. On the drawstring is 12 inches, and on the other um, large family tote, it is 13. So one inch difference on that. So very, very comparable in sizes with some minor differences. Um, but there are two other big differences. One is the pocket. On the drawstring family tote, there is one slip pocket. It is a top entry, so right here in the seam. It's not really a hidden pocket because you can see the pocket right there, but there you go. Um, also, this has a drawstring closure on the top, so even though the bag is not as tall, you actually can overstuff it and still keep your stuff in it. So you have a little bit of extra give there, potentially, depending on what you're stuffing and how you're stuffing it. Um, also, with this mesh, when you have it all cinched down with your stuff inside, just tie that off. Here, I'll even do that. Tie it off. And then you just flip it over and shake it, and that lets the sand out but keeps your stuff in. So very convenient feature there if you're in sandy areas or dirt, whatever. Um, stuff that will come right back out. So there's that. They're both waterproof, no issue with there. There you have it. So very, very big wide base. So when we're talking about the measurements, it's, let's see, drawstring family tote, 15 and a quarter by 14 by nine and three quarters with 12 inch drop. The other one, the large family tote is 19 by 16 by 10 with a 13 inch drop. All right, so this one does not have that mesh on the top. It doesn't have any closure except a corner to corner clip, which, I think you lose a lot of storage space if you utilize that clip because it just pinches the top of the bag. I don't know. I personally don't think I'll be using that. Um, but this one also has that same type of slip pocket, although it's not top entry. It's right there on the edge. I mean, it's top, but not on the seam is my point. Um, it's a little bit smaller pocket, but very comparable. But this one has in the bottom a hidden pocket. Ooh. So, uh, it is very large. Let me just kind of turn this inside out for a second to show you. And it did take me a while to find it because it is well hidden. So, if someone's gonna steal your whole bag, yeah, they're gonna take whatever's in the hidden pocket. But if they're just doing a quick grab and go and trying to be um, sneaky about it, they're never gonna see what's in here, wouldn't even know to look for it. So, along the bottom, you can see this is the bottom of the bag. Let me turn it fully inside out. So, very, very large bag all together. Sorry. All right, so that's the bottom of the bag, the base, quite large. But right here on the seam, you can see the zipper opens up and it actually is basically that whole bottom of the bag that you can put stuff in to hide it while you're out on your family adventures or whatever on the beach. Um, it's not super thick, but it is, you know, the thickness of the bottom. And then you, you don't have to flip it inside out to access it. I only did that to illustrate where it is and how big it is. And that really is all there is to it. They're 
very similar bags, but one is definitely bigger than the other. So let's put it on our shoulder. So, oops, let's expand the bottom. Make it look fair, so. Both big bags, but you can see right away, this one is much bigger. Both manageable though. Or mind my fancy shorts with my shirt. All right, so that's it for this one. Bye for now.